we've got six six separate groups going out to give toys to the houses today. There it is. There's a Hubbard. Today is our, our final day of the uh, 12 Kids of Christmas shopping event. Um, traditionally, we would take 200 children on an all-day excursion and buy them, you know, let them buy gifts with officers. Unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, we had to buy the gifts for the children. And this year, we've got them all. We're going to load them into police vehicles and deliver them to the families. Put them right back here for safekeeping. We started it 13 years ago, and my goal was to make it happen at least until I retired. And I, I won't let COVID beat me. I mean, this is just a, right. it's a great event for the community and for the officers. You want to take Potter since it's one bag? Uh, is, this is one of the most monumental things we do throughout the year. Um, you know, we see you did. We're, we're in people's homes every day. We see that kids may be lacking some some toys or things that presents at this time of year. So we get to co come together at Christmas time and, and make a lot of kids in Toledo very happy. And it, it gets it shows us in a different light rather than just the people who come in and arrest people and write tickets. It lets them know that we're we're men and women, we're moms and dads, and we have hearts that we want to make sure that they're happy. He's ready to go. So all right. Let me tell Cliff we'll be behind him. You know, every year it, it it's always great to see them kind of warm up and, and really enjoy it. I mean they get to see us now. Oh, there's a lot in here. Yeah. Not just in the enforcement phase, but now they get to see us for what we, you know, what we don't normally have the time to do, and that's the community involvement right. aspect. This is a great way of showing Toledo's young people that, you know, we're not, we're there to help. Some of these children may have some issues with people in uniform and, and get scared a little easier. So it's a, it's a good thing to have them see us outside of that enforcement state, so they, they know that we're safe. Merry Christmas, guys! they can come to us, that, that they can, you know, approach us with problems. So in the future, we don't have any, any, you know, mishap. My, my officers love it. Uh, every year, you know, people are begging it. They were really hurt this year that we had to reduce the numbers. So I'm looking forward to getting it going again. And it's not just my officers. We had 13 jurisdictions last year, plus military members. So it, it's gone beyond just Toledo, which is great. You know, there's so many that are, don't get much at all and it just touches my heart that people think of others that are less fortunate like this to help these kids and make their Christmas wonderful for them. So it's it's good that we can come in and we can provide that Christmas. Every kid should have a Christmas. I think it would be a lot sadder than they are now. Now they'll have something to open up, you know, Christmas morning and uh, they'll they'll have they'll know that people care about them.